This is part two of our winter visit to Lviv. This time we explore the Armenian quarter, get our bill hacked in half, get festive at the Christmas market, grab a couple of unusual cocktails, head to an underground coffee mine and spend New Year's Eve at the most expensive restaurant in Lviv and its million dollar toilet. Oh my God. We are at the entrance of Under the Opera, which is a cocktail bar under the Opera House, a beautiful Opera House here in Lviv. Let's go check it out. The bar opens at 4 p.m. until 2 a.m. daily. The interior is an eclectic mix of musical instruments and other oddities. It only just opened when we arrived, but soon became pretty busy. There are 200 cocktails to choose from and 20 signature drinks with an added element of theatrical serving. It's good fun just watching the barman rush around preparing the clever drinks. Will chose the signature drink on the go, vodka, lime, fresh mint, Lillette Blanche. Thank you. What have you got to do with this? Add these secret ingredients to my cocktail and give it a stir. What in my drink should we add in? Yeah. What have I got? Espresso martini. Extra froth. <laughs> the waiter also recommended this salty, sweet, cheesy snack to complement our cocktails. Kind of like semi soft, salty cheese. Good. The Christmas market is pretty new and is spread over two areas, Rhinox Square and in front of the Opera House. Ukrainians celebrate Christmas on the 6th and 7th of January following the Orthodox calendar, so the market runs from mid-December to mid-January unlike other cities. There are around 100 huts selling crafts and local produce relating to the Ukrainian winter. During the month-long celebrations, there are numerous parades, concerts and events taking place. We found our information from LvivBuddy.com. Meat and Justice restaurant is hidden around the back of the monastery of the Bernardine Church we visited in part one. This was on our list from last summer, but we couldn't find it. This time we had better luck, but being unable to book online, we had to queue outside on a very cold night. Whilst the queue was long, we were seated within about 30 minutes. As the restaurant name suggests, and by the hundreds of skewers on the grills, this place is all about meat. The justice side is covered by lots of torture paraphernalia dotted around the place. It just adds a little bit of fun. We started with a cheese and breadstick board and some dried apricots, whilst we waited for our main course to be cooked on the very hot grills. Whoa, hey, so 
we've gone for the mixed shashlik grill or something. It's got pork, chicken, it's kind of a bashti type bread, salads, dips, a massive chili hanging around under there, and a baked potato. A novel way of serving your bill, but keep your fingers out of the way. The Armenian quarter where Armenians lived in medieval times is easily missed as it's tucked away in the side streets, but it has some lovely old cobbled roads and the Armenian cathedral and a few cosy bars and restaurants hidden behind courtyard gates. Just explore and enjoy the views in this quieter area of town. The cathedral apparently has a beautiful fresco, but we didn't go in this time round. The Pravda Beer Theatre brings together all the best brewers from Ukraine, Belgium, Czech Republic and the USA to brew beer at Pravda. The place has a nice vibe with a shop in the lower levels and a bar and restaurant. On the middle level is a bandstand and the Pravda Orchestra Brass Band performs almost every night. We stop for a beer and a snack to tide us over until our New Year's dinner. We covered Lviv Coffee Manufacturer in our summer guide, but only the upper level. Here you'll find a traditional coffee house with links to great coffee stretching back to Vienna. Check out our full review on our summer guide. It was busy due to New Year's Eve, but our interest was in the lower level coffee mine. Climbing down a few stairs under the coffee house, you first have to grab a hard hat from the attendant, then wander around a very small but cute set of corridors in near darkness, looking at some mining exhibits, which was fun and good for a few Instagram posts. Once you find a seat, you can order cake and the famous flaming coffees. Okay, thank you. 
So it's the last day of the decade and it's New Year's Eve, of course, and we're heading off for a special meal this evening here in Lviv. And uh, Will knows nothing about it, so hopefully it's gonna be a really good surprise and we'll see how it goes. We were heading for the most expensive Galician restaurant in Reinock Square. There was a real buzz about the city walking to the restaurant. All the shops, bars and Christmas stalls were still open. Hidden away, we found a black apartment door and knocked. Hello? Cool. We have a reservation. Reservation? Cool. Uh -huh. True. Yes. Please welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, thank you. Having been welcomed into the restaurant by a guy in his dressing gown, we were taken to our seats by the maitre d'. Oh, lovely, yes. Okay. Thank you. The majority of the restaurants in Lviv require a booking and deposit in advance for New Year's Eve. I did some research back in November and emailed a few before securing our table. It does require a bit of effort and a bank transfer which I was a bit nervous about doing but everything turned out fine and it meant we did have a firm booking for the night's celebrations. If you don't know the exchange rate, it's 31 to the pound. And Ukraine is a cheap country, so this is pricey. A gift waiting for us by the beer. Um, we have our starters waiting for us. We've both gone for some kind of smoked salmon dish, I think. Um, nice old kind of fashioned plate. Yeah. And we're a view out over to the... We've got an amazing view out over into the town square, which is really cool. Nice surprise, that. And we've got a glass of champagne each, so... Champagne. Fantastic. What have we got here, then? It's a Nemirov honey and pepper vod, and also Nemirov, which is the brand original. Pravda Lager, wheat kind of style, standard. Uh, beer for Lviv, made around the corner. And what's left in your champers? Yes. And what's left of my salmon? salmon? Is that good? Amazing. The horseradish cream underneath is sensational. Delightful. What a great end to the year, huh? In between courses, we had a look around, and it may appear like it's a small flat from the outside, but inside the place is extensive with a Masonic theme. It was time to visit the toilet and yet another surprise. God, that's insane. So this is the million US dollar toilet. A million dollar poo. Very bizarre, but I'm going to have to switch off now because I need to get to live. What's happened so far, Bobby? We've had our star marine and <clears throat> some vodka. Uh, we've been to the loo. There's two loos in the entire restaurant. One is a throne seat, and the other is... A million dollar? Oh, no, the throne seat. Okay, thanks. Can I mean, yes? Oh, yes. Uh, for you. Okay. okay. You ready? Go. Whee! Thank you. Oh wow. Oh wow. It's nice. Delicious. Mm. 
Before we knew it, 2020 had arrived and our videoing skills took a bit of a dive as we got quite drunk. Two is old. Oh, can you hear the fireworks going off? Yeah. Wait! It's very late, memory seekers. Very late. The entertainment ramped up, and a live band started strumming some tunes, taking us into the small hours. With that, it was time to head back to the hotel. Can't recommend this restaurant enough. The entire meal was under 100 euros for the entire evening with all the drinks and three courses and entertainment. It was absolutely brilliant. Here we go. Beautiful view. We hope you've enjoyed our Lviv two-parter. Okay. Make sure you check out some of our other Ukraine videos and uh, like and subscribe and click that bell to be Thank notified you. of future you, videos. But for now, from the Memory Seekers, happy travels. What a fabulous night.